In this video, we're going to be speaking about trigonometry. The one thing I want you to note before we start is that we can only use this when we're dealing with right angle triangles. So triangles where one of its angles are 90 degrees. The next thing I want to teach you is how to actually identify sides of a right angle triangle. There's three types. You have hypotenuse, which is the longest side. You have opposite, which is a side opposite to the angle we're looking for. And the remaining side is called adjacent. So in this case, the longest side is this slanted side here. So I'm going to call that HYP, which is short for hypotenuse. And then X is the angle that is missing that we're looking for. And the side opposite to that is just called opposite. So I'm just going to put OPP for short. And the remaining side, which is this bottom side here, is called adjacent. So now we're going to learn what this acronym means, which you've probably heard before, SOKOTOA. So, it's just a way of memorising the definitions for three trig functions. So the trig functions you need to learn are sine, cos, and tan. These are just short for sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, as you can see, the S is followed by an O and a H. The O refers to the opposite side, and the H refers to hypotenuse. So sine is defined as O opposite divided by h hypotenuse then you have an a and a h following the c which represents cos so cos is defined as adjacent over hypotenuse and finally t is followed by an o and an a so tangent is defined by o divided by a now let's apply this to an actual question so here it says, find the size of angle BAC. As you can see, this triangle is right angled. And angle BAC refers to this angle here, BAC. So I'm just going to highlight that and I'm going to call it X because right now we don't know what it is. The next step is again to identify the sides. So the long slanted side is hypotenuse. The side opposite to the angle we're looking for, which is this side here, is called opposite. And then the remaining side is just called adjacent. So now to find x, all you have to do is look at the information that they give you. They give you the opposite side and the hypotenuse. Which one of these trig functions uses O and H? It's sine. So this is the one that we use. And then how you write this is sine of x, where x is our unknown angle equals, so remember the definition is O over H. Opposite is actually 12 centimetres in this case, I want to put 12, divided by H refers to hypotenuse, which in this case is 13. So 12 over 13. So then to get X on its own, you need to do the reverse of sine, which is inverse sine. So X is equal to sine, and then with a little minus 1, 12 over 13. So on your calculator, you can find the inverse of sine, which is this. And then you have to press shift and press the sign, and this thing will come up. And then put 12 divided by 13, and you get that x is equal to 67.3 degrees. With this second example, we're asked to find a length rather than an angle, and in this case, it's RT. So I'm going to denote RT as X because X just stands for an unknown value. Then we go ahead and label our side. So our longest side is this slanted side here. So this is H. This is the angle we're given. And the side opposite to that angle is obviously going to be called O. And then finally, the remaining side X is adjacent, so A. So look at the information that you're given. You're given an angle. You're given opposite. And you're trying to work out adjacent. So which one of these trig functions uses O and A? It's going to be tan. So this is the one that we select. So your equation will be tan, 53, because you're given the angle in this case, equals opposite, which in this case is 14, divided by adjacent. Adjacent in this case is our unknown, which I as x. Then you just rearrange this to make x subject to formula. So first bring this up and you get tan 53 
multiplied by x equals 14. So then x is just equal to 14 divided by 1053. When you pop that into your calculator, you're going to get x is equal to 10.5 centimeters, and that's to one decimal place. Now for this final example, I suggest you try it and then watch the next video for the work solution. So here they're asking for the length, not an angle, and they're asking for the length of AB. So I'm going to denote that as X. Then I'm just going to label all the sides. So this side here is the longest side, so I'm going to call it H. This is the side opposite to the angle given, so that's O for opposite. And then the remaining side has to be adjacent, so A. Now you need to look at what they're giving you. So they've given you hypotenuse and you're trying to find adjacent. So which of these trig functions has H and A? Well, it's going to be cos. So this is the one that you select. And like before, the form of your equation will be this. You have cos. So you have adjacent on top, which is just the unknown here. So X divided by H, which in this case is 12.5. Now you just rearrange for x, so you just have to bring this up. So cos 25 multiplied by 12.5 equals x. You pop that into your calculator and you get 11.3 centimeters. And again, that's to one decimal place.